Now, Vice President Kashim Shatima says the federal government will partner the banking sector in actualizing the eight-point economic agenda aimed at revamping the nation's ailing economy. Shatima made the promise at the 16th Annual Banking and Finance Conference in Abuja. Once again, the nation's capital, Abuja, was a beehive of activities as bankers, financial managers and experts were at the city center for a two-day 16th annual banking and finance conference. Stakeholders and dignitaries were already seated at the venue for the annual event to brainstorm on ways to strengthen the nation's alien economy, which took a terrible hit after the removal of subsidy by the president all our Tinubu led administration. President and Chairman of the Institute's Ken Okpare, while welcoming bankers and stakeholders, says the conference is an opportunity to address critical issues in the nation's economy through agenda setting. Understanding the linkages between this sector and the real economy is essential for policymakers who aim to manage economic stability and growth. And I must assure you that in President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, you are pound a friend and an ally. Our proposal is also to utilize emerging and disruptive technologies to harness the financial services industry, to cultivate a green, inclusive, and equitable economy. If we channel financial resources towards environmentally sustainable initiatives, we can mitigate the adverse effects of climate change and pave the way for a greener future and a safer country. The banking industry contributes about 3.6% or thereabouts. And I like to compare us to the telecoms industry that contributes about 16%. So what's so special about them? They say they have uh, how many phone lines and we know we all know that phone lines are duplicated. We have almost the same number of bank accounts. So what's the problem? Are we saying we're a quarter of the telecoms industry? I don't think so. So when we look at economic contribution, I'm sorry, we are, we are fighting uh, below our weight. So can we promise them that instead of 3.6%, we'll be contributing a lot more than that? And then we sit down and find what the drivers are that we can influence, that we can do. We are all responsible for our development plans. We are all responsible for our medium-term expenditure framework. We are all responsible for the budget. The reforms are intended, among others, to give the private sector all the necessary confidence to mobilize and invest more resources in what is no doubt an economy with one of the world's strongest absorptive capacity. We acknowledge the contribution of the financial sector, but expect more. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.